sisters. I hate my sisters. Hi, welcome to my sister can't cook. I hate my We're so happy. I hate my sister. To be here with Rika today. Open your mouth really big. Today is all about you. Hi, we're the Girardi sisters from El Rancho, and my sister can cook catering. And thank you for joining us today. And hopefully, by show's end. You'll be exhausted. Two, yeah. two people will be dead and I'll be alive. <laughs> Hopefully, we have thought of enough mean things to do to her today that she might be able to keep her mouth shut and not penance. boss us around. Penance. So, with a few, that, a few times ago we were filming and um, all the camera guys were whining that they had found out about the chicken stuffed soap at El Rancho, which is a lunch special for $5.99 and you'll get full. Oh my Sorry, God. Let me just blatantly advertise. Anyway. So they were kind of price is subject to change. <laughs> <laughs> they were thinking that they might like to have that. So Lunch today, special eleven to three, uh, yeah. Monday through Friday, fifteen twenty three. Eat white I'm Libra <laughs> and forty five. No, anyway. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to make a stuffed sopa. But, but what we have here, we've already. Oh, that margarita margarita beef. We already have um, our chicken shredded. We've already grated our cheese so as not to cause me any kind of injury. We have our beans cooked. So basically what we're gonna do is teach you the hard part. It's about making the dough and how to cook the dough for the sopa. And um, we're gonna add a few more green chilies. Wait to make dough for the sopa? Just be quiet. Please. Okay. We um, are gonna add a few more green chilies to already green chili sauce. And the main reason we're doing that so we will have something to do. So let me go get those roasted what? green chilies right now. Okay. Bada boom, bada beak. I have to peel green chilies. You do. Oh man. Watch it. Hot pan. And they're hot. And aren't you supposed to sweat those? Do you know? Yeah, just put them in a plastic bag. How do you do it at How home? Because you you're a green chili maker at home. I just put them in just a little bit of water here. Watch. You oh, should do it. Yeah. Uh, no, Rika's doing this. And Rika oh! The reason Rika's doing it is because she is so ugly to us every single episode that I'm going to let her get in touch with her Mexican side. Grandma, mm -hmm. I'd like you to watch very closely. So when you see your favorite grandchild, Rika. That would be me, favorite grandchild. You can correct her on how, of course, she'll probably correct me on how I sweat these and when I roasted them and blah, blah, blah. So what, what did you do? You put them in the oven? Did I, you put them in the oven in the pan? Or? I put them in the oven, not in the pan. Oh, but okay. Just on for the rack? The, just on the rack, but for the convenience of modern television, I put them in the pan to pull them out. Oh. I'm adding cold water because they're going to be hot. And then how long did you roast them for? Um, are you sure that's right? If I were are, are you sure that's right? <laughs> Beep! Is that how you do it? I've seen like where they put them in a plastic bag. Uh -huh. This is her way. Okay. This is her show. Sorry. Peepa. I, I don't think it's still it. Pipe down Charlie okay. Brown. <laughs> so anyway, um, cool them off a little bit so she can touch them because she's going to wind the whole way. This is a tedious job. That's why we were And why do you roast them? Flavor. Okay. It just brings and out more. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And they go in really bright, bright, bright green, and then they come out this kind of drabby green. And I don't know if you can tell already, I'm kind of just pinching the skin. Because I'm sure if Rika doesn't know how to clean them or not, then the skin will be loose. There's some. The more you roast them, the easier the skin will come off. But if you burn them, then you lose a lot of your chili meat. Oh, okay. Okay, so Rita, come on over. What Get she's going to do yeah. is peel off the skin, take off the stem, take off the seed, put the meat on either plate she likes. Okay. With that, with that, Cheryl is now going to tell you the ingredients of what goes into the sopa dough. Okay. Wow. And I'm my measurements aren't going to be exact because I'm not, not making for 5,000? Right. I'm not making a huge things batch of sopa way. dough in the big, huge 60-quart Hobart mixer, which does it all. But basic ingredients are flour. What kind of flour? White flour. It can be bleached or unbleached. Oh, okay. Does it matter? Just all purpose. Doesn't have to be yeah, all purpose. Not self-rising flour. No, not self-rising. Uh, like, do you want me to help you? White flour, one? salt, Baking powder, a little bit of lard. A little bit. I know the lard is a scary. Bit, like, the, you know. And then, am I doing this right? Is this all right? Is this all right for you? You're halfway there. You're halfway there. And then you add warm get water. Get into it. You have to act, get involved with it. Not so much that way, Rika. Oh. Can I finish my silver Sorry, Cheryl. Oh. 
Then you add warm. Can you hear us? Because you guys are giving us looks like <laughs> yeah. something. Like, are we good? Are we all right? We're good. Okay. okay. Pour the water to the flour mixture until it forms a ball. That's pretty. So it should be real supple. There's no yeast in it. It's not rice. It doesn't have to be you just, risen. You just and you just kind of just throw everything in there together. Yeah. Until it forms a ball, and you can see that the dough is just real supple. And I like to put my dough in food processor, so you could do that too if you like. But that's why we're making her clean the chilies because she really doesn't. So at the restaurant after the sopa, you're gonna make them made, tiny, right? Yeah. Kind of let your dough sit, just like any other dough. Okay. Not more than five minutes, and then it's ready to to be worked. Do you want we to have a, that big? Did you tell? I can't do anything. What am I? No, I mean, do you want it that big? Or do you want them small? Yeah. Okay. So we have a machine at the at the restaurant that um, I don't know what's it called. Uh, it's actually a pizza dough. Roller. It's a pizza dough roller that's probably older than all of us put together because it was there. It was there when mom and dad had it yeah. in the late 80s. 80s. But and Cheryl, aren't you uh, quite connected? I was to the that? candidate for my first kitchen injury on my very first day of work in there. Was it your first day? Yes. <laughs> first day and of work, and I we was, had to go to a dance. And we that had to go night. to a dance that night, and it was my middle finger. Is tall man. Tall man. Tall man got smashed in the roller. <laughs> and tall man got to go to the doctor and get a huge big bandage put on it. So I went to the dance. And our father, who looking was a like a dork. coach who only knew how to fix things with football tape, her finger was <laughs> this big, wrapped around, and she could go, but she had to keep it above her head. It had to be elevated. So she was dancing with, you know, getting a groove what on. What dance big, was that? Some Sadie Hawkins. Sadie Hawkins. Sadie Hawkins. Who did you go with? Mike Porter, Shane Hall. Okay. We were supposed to be d dressed, you know, Sadie Hawkins, like little Abner. They show up like they're going on a mission in a suit and a tie. <laughs> we were trying to bail out the back door. My dad grabs us by our hair, sit down, and you're going. So we had to go back home and get dressed up to go with our gate to, say to the Sadie Hawkins. Hawkins. Not that we're, we weren't geeky enough. Yeah. That just added that. that just. And then, isn't that the dance that dad decided to show up on? Yeah. yeah. It's not humiliating enough that you're not wearing the proper attire to the dance. And your sister and has then, a this big. Exactly. And then your dad comes to the dance and sits against the gym wall and watches you. <laughs> How nice is that? So if you anyway, guys out there in TV land see Shane Hall, just go ahead and give him some grief about that. <laughs> we have some issues with that. He turned even wider than her fat. Yeah, that's, that's when we our eating disorder came about. Um, I'm sorry, but we don't use the F-A-T word in my house. Thank you very much. Just keep or doing your just chilies. Large. Wasn't this episode about not letting me talk? I know. How did she get involved in the sugar station? So, what are you doing? She comes to the bank and she's going to be talking about me. Chili sauce? No. Oh. Okay. I'm pulling out the so what are you the soap do dough. That once you do get the soap dough all rolled out. So, then the soap dough is going to be deep fried in. This is a diet plate, people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just helping her stretch her dough. Okay. Because oh, Rika's wow. got a tile. Um, here, help me. We'll just pull. Oh! Wow. We kind of want it semi pretty. We're going to cut it in half. I know, but. So, what are you going to fry it in? Oral. A vet? How does, how does your sister in law say it? How does, how does Lori say oil if she's from Boston? No, I don't know. Earl? It seems like she puts R in the end of everything. And then, what are you going to stuff it? So, you're going to stuff it with. We're going to stuff it with beans, chicken, green chilies, cheese, and bacon again. Okay, what well, are we going to bake? Bacon. Bake it. Oh, I was like, bake it. Where, see, they were thrown off because I every dish I cook. Some Where does kind of bacon, bacon come in on this? We do have bacon in it. And we also do the, oh. the stuff so but with the beef. Mm -hmm. as well. oh, we're red chili so, too. We're red. But, but we're making this special for We Mel. had requests, it's so it's kind of a vegetable. It's green, so we are. Oh, yeah, he go won't like us. It. it has chili, chili scott, but. Uh, vegetables in it. Oh, so we just. Is a we have a, yeah. a shallow frying pan on the stove that has. Uh, grease or oil in it that's heating up because if you don't have your oil at the right temperature when you submerge the dough It'll first of all it's gonna what temperature do you want it to be go down to the bottom of About the pan 350 <clears throat> and you want the you want your sopa dough to to rise to puff up from the grease so okay. your grease has to be hot three 350 uh, so I turned it up so if you in television land see actually it needs to smoke over there more than that it needs to be anywhere from 350 hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry. To 400 degrees, the oil should be. Okay. And that'll ensure that the dough won't go to the bottom of the pan. Oh, no. 
Okay. All Slice right. and dice. Wait, how are we on the oil? I just turned it up because I think it needs to be okay, a little hot. Okay, so the other stuff do you have? Rika, I just want you to cut those up. Can you even I talk? Don't. What her yeah. you're, asking a question today. you're not following directions very well. The whole talking. And I wish we had a brick of cheese as big as my butt. That would be great. <laughs> I'm sure we can find that in the fridge. Yeah. So yeah. how about you peel this mango? It's not ready. So if you're making chili at home, you're gonna take some beef or pork, cube it up, brown it in about a tablespoon of oil. Then you're gonna add some garlic and you're gonna add some onions. And if you like, you're gonna add some tomatoes and of course you're gonna add the chilies. We are just gonna add a few more chilies to our green chili because it's all about the chili. Okay. Right? Do I and they're roasted. Salt? And sister, do you have a little bit of like powdered garlic or garlic salt that we could just mm -hmm. put on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, dice it a little bit finer. It's burning my hand. So it's gadget go. Oh. Jeez, is it burning your hands? Don't put any on your lips. You're just gonna add it right on the cutting I'm just gonna put it right on there. Okay. Do you want me to do all of it? Um, no, because we have some. Oh, not. so you made me peel extra? Yes, but Scott will eat it later. So that's your husband. Go ahead and put it behind you in that green chili pan pot. Just add it to. How is the bean pot? The beans are good. So, sister. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is it? Oh, that's the one the tapioca pudding was in. <laughs> I think you should cut these because our pan's so small. At the restaurant, this is how big we, we make them when we a make the stuff so big. But I think we should. You want a quarter? I think just because we have an itsy bitsy, teeny weeny yellow polka, polka dot, dot bikini. bikini. And back there. Let me go check the oil. Okay. Okay, what else are we doing? We're, she's checking the oil. We're going to fry it. Um, it's ready. <laughs> sure, go ahead and tell her. Did you see Rika? This is Rika's house. We cook in every time we film. It's gonna be all over. Just so you know, it's not a very um, clean thing. So to do. Mel's gonna go to the stove, and Cheryl's gonna fry up the soap. Does she know what she's doing? She was a fry cook. Yeah, but she got her finger smashed in the thing. This isn't smashing. This is no. just not frying. smashing. This is. Oh, fried. that's not right. Uh, let's see. And I'm just gonna do them one at a time. And see how the, the dough puffs up? That's what you want. That means the oil's hot enough. And about two to three minutes on each side until it browns is what you're gonna do. And then we're just gonna dry it on the, the uh, paper towel so do we you can have get one over there? most of the grease out. Yeah. And then we'll assemble. Is that more green chili? Uh huh. Oh, it's green. Yeah, but it's not. Jeff, is it okay to it? Is she talking back? She is. She won't let me talk at all. Well, that was the whole point of this show. So, Mel wouldn't let me put a muzzle. I asked ahead of time. And she tried to fair. nicely stuff that. I think nice. And on the, especially on the stuff sofa, you want to try to incorporate as much air because you want it to puck up. So when you cut it open, it's, to put your it's in. fluffy like the sisters. Yeah. There's the sister, not sorry, enough. Rika, just one. Well, just, just, I'm the only fluffy one, this one sorry guys. Got, this one's a little bit flat, but we'll attempt to cut it. Okay, also so like how that. do you make it fluffy, Cheryl? By throwing, uh, the, oil on throwing top. the oil on top of it. By moving it, it makes around. It puff. It makes it puff. And, so start throwing. And you have to remember too that my oil is cooling down because I'm adding items to the grease. So every time that happens, you may want to wait one or two minutes for the oil to come back up to temperature. We need a Okay, but we seem to be doing all right. Rika, you did such a fabulous job. Am I good? That. Did I get an A plus? And this is really good with Nutella as well. Uh -huh. stuff. Powdered sugar, honey. Oh. Peanut butter and syrup mixed together. Hey, so maybe the Nutella people will call us and we could be their national spokesperson because every single it. show we manage to talk about it. If you guys haven't tried it yet, it's in the peanut butter aisle section. A hazelnut. Oh, this one's been good. It's fat. Thank uh, God. Something fat. I'm going to just turn this boil down because I'm going to need it for later. So I'm just going to. Sid, turn it down. that would be your phone, I hear. Bring that would be Cheryl. Tracy Chapman. Uh, nice try. I'm sure it's our brother saying, Where are you? Where are Why are you at work? What are you guys eating? <laughs> yeah. So Bring next is going to be the house phone. Mel, you can yell at her after the show for that. 
I wasn't me because I'm perfect. We know. Wow. We know yeah. so okay, much. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we waiting for? Bring us some. Come on, lady. Hey, hey. We were just down. standing here looking cute. Well, well I don't know about you. Savannah looks cute, but you're I'm kind not of sure that I gave her enough to do today. Okay. There's your sofas. Now remember Thank they're you. hot, so when you cut them open to assemble. <gasps> Chicken in the microwave. Don't burn I just warmed it up. Okay. So do you have a knife, sister? Here's yeah. a plate. Okay, so this is the hard part out of all of it. Let me get a spoon for you guys. You're just gonna a spoon the And the chicken that we have here is just the chicken that we use at the restaurant, but you can use whatever you want if you want. Um, and this is just this is white meat that we use, yeah. boneless, skinless white meat, and and we cook it and we just cook it down with. Why is it red? There's tomato, there's bell pepper, there's uh, green onions, but nothing spicy. Right, and we just just so it has it enhances the flavor and just instead of just plain chicken, you know, you've got it's a little hot. And if you notice, I didn't use one bad word. Doctor it up. No, oh, look, Rita's doing pretty good. I'm yeah, sorry, of course she is. I've been a cheese melter before. So have so I. So we're adding the refried beans. Correct. That we, we and we're up. at the restaurant. They're, you know, the sofas are a little, they're bigger than this. They're not this size. They're But we're dainty. <laughs> no, so that. Okay, so beans. Let me, you got the chicken. Oh my God, I've got enough to feed an orange. I don't know what you're doing. Mel was hungry. Yeah, he better eat all this. I just got beans all over me. That's not right. That's not how they do it. Oh, the please don't listen to her. She just her mouth has to move or something. We're adding the chicken on the inside. You want the green chili? Would you put the put a, I like a little bit of cheese on mine. Just a little bit on the That's inside. That's not how we do it. That's how I did it. My just a, there. So don't come to the restaurant and ask for cheese on the inside of the sofa because it won't be. Do you ask for whatever you want. If we have it, we can do it. We there are better than Burger King. We'll make it your way every day. Okay. Green. Green chili me, please. She's assembling. Gosh. Well, here you put that by you. You can do something. And this is nothing gourmet. Don't make this, you know, to try to impress your friends. For Why gourmet. not? Well, for a gourmet meal. I mean, because it's, it's gourmet not. Mexican food. Then you want more cheese. More cheese. I guess and the, it just doesn't look pretty. That's all. It is. You, you know what? Excuse me. It's just like Excuse your me. mom teaches you. Don't judge the book by the cover, it's what's inside. Oh. That's where the stuffed sofa came from, and, what's and inside. And then you put it in the oven and you bake it so you can melt the cheese. Right, everything's already cooked, so it's just a matter of just melting, melting the, the cheese. And then the cheese melter. You know, you could have this with sour cream and guacamole. Oh, I can have it however you want. Jalapenos. Oh, you like cheese. I'll hold your sleeve. Try to break your sleeve. I like lots of cheese. I'll do the green chili. Hold your plate. Oh, oh, sure. You did that so, so well. Good. Look how good Let she me does put that. More cheese on top. Oh, so pretty. Okay, since this one's kind of flat, just do it on top, lady. You can't cut that. Sure. Uh, I can just pull it. Rika, she can do everything. If we heard a large bang, we know that the plates weren't oven proof. <laughs> we could just eat out of the oven, you know. Yeah. Ouch. Not anything that we're not yeah, used exactly. to. Yeah, right? exactly. Fell on the floor. Ten second rule. I'll eat it. <laughs> Okay, while I do that, I'm gonna wrap up this dough so it doesn't dry out. All right, what else are we making? After we get done with this and clean our messes, then we're gonna make churros, which oh. is like a puff, which it's is a like, pastry. Like, 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 It's puffy and crunchy and cinnamon and sugar. Bean me too, Scotty. Since we didn't have any sweet. Yeah, we gotta have sweet. Gotta have sweet. Okay. What are you gonna put inside of it that's gonna make it sweet? I'm gonna touch it. Can you green those beans over here away from what's your face? Yeah, like you touching something and sweeten it up. <laughs> it is. Lady. Lady. You, know. you know the word arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna check the oven and make sure we're okay. melting properly. Am I doing this Ooh. right? Looking good. Is this, is like this, you might I like these little ones. I know, these are kind of They're kinda, kinda fun. cute. Yeah, but they're not gourmet, according to Princess Agatha. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, wait, I, I want to decorate. I don't know, well, I'm going to pull some out. You want to decorate yours? Or, okay. I can call it whatever I want. Can't I, Rika? I suppose I can't. Don't back up. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh, that looks good. And I bought, there's avocado and tomato oh, okay. if you want to put on there. I don't want tomato. Do you want tomato? I don't care. Don't I think she's just thinking to make it pretty. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Let me have this one. Okay. And I just know when we go off the camera, the boys better eat these like they have never had a meal in their lives. Here, let me have that. 
What? Is she not doing right? No, what is it? Don't you know you cut it on the inside? That's if you cut cubes. Well, I'm going to do it the same way. way. That's not right. <sighs> That's wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, look, you smash it all up. Uh, then you get to get your hands soft at the same time. It's a beauty treatment by yeah. Cheryl. I want my own cooking show. My name is Rika Girardi. You can reach me at a rancho restaurant. And uh, don't ask for any of these either two girls. And even though we kind of look alike, we are not. So ask our names before you come in. And don't assume that she's Rika and I'm Cheryl. People do that all the time. Don't do it. Okay, so we'll be back. And that we'll be means I'm looking. No, that means you're looking rather old then. Because I'm older than you. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're good. gonna go to a little break. If we come back without Rika, don't be surprised because Cheryl's gonna come back and make some fabulous something something sweet. Cheryl! We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to My Sister Can't Cook and something fabulous has happened. Rika's not here. She disappeared. <laughs> so Cheryl's gonna start with her churros and... Uh, Hi, sisters! <laughs> Black Friday, take care. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> We okay, have a little so. bit of time, so Cheryl's going to talk really fast and tell you how to make it. I'm going to do the My job is I'm going to go to the stove and tell you what ingredients we have on the stove. What are we making? To make the churros. Savannah, your job is to keep her quiet. Okay. Okay? Oh. Make, your, make yourself useful. Okay? Okay. Now, on hey, the oven. Hey, better, hey, better, hey, better. In this pot, I have a cup of milk, half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I let it melt. And then I'm turning the temperature down to low. Okay. And I'm gonna incorporate, I'm gonna incorporate. Uh, that's her Italian, <laughs> she's been speaking. I'll oh, add a cup of flour with a wooden spoon into this, and we're going to. My G churros are Mexican. Cook it on the stove top, yeah, okay? Right. That's uh, the don't first. Don't ask to spell it. First four or five steps. And then after this, Cooks on the stove top for a minute. I'm gonna okay. have Rika. We're gonna add it to the. You're gonna bowl let me do Rika something. Has. You're gonna let okay. me do something. And she's gonna incorporate four eggs one at a time. Wait, both. So Rika, this Wait, is both. almost like a profiterole dough. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Show. Chew. S h o i u x. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chew. Yes. I think. I noticed natural. I wore my long sleeve shirt, so when I mix, my arms not flapping around for everybody to see. Yeah, but you got a nice <laughs> big hole there. Everybody can see everything. The shirt's doing it, so people go, is that her shirt yeah. or her arm? Yeah. That's it's, why I wear an apron. Is so that the dough apron or underneath? If you guys look, the dough just kind of come to a, a dough. Okay. Oh, so it's all okay. come together. And we're just cooking the flour so the flour cooks down. Yeah, you gotta cook the flour. Um, will otherwise. the color change or no? It might get a, get a little... You mean in here? Yeah. No. Okay. You don't want it to brown. So if we if we weren't gonna make churros, we could basically do the same thing and make profiteroles or probably you might have to add sugar. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're gonna add this into the bowl. Okay. And then with the hand mixer, you're gonna one at a time, one right? Egg, and the dough is gonna be shiny. And I've got a skillet on the oven. Okay. Maybe okay. it's the president calling Dr. Espiel on money. Oh, oops. Okay. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, we taught you that trick before where you take a Ziploc bag and you can put it into a Ziploc bag. Yeah. But really, go invest in just a pastry bag and, and it's, you can, it's washable, you can keep it. If you're not going to use it very often, I mean, it's just something nice to have. Okay, I'll go fill. Sorry, I have a long tip. Okay, Jeez. so we're going to put the dough into the pastry bag. I've got the oil on, 350 to 400. We're going to cook the churros in the oil, pat them dry, and then Samiana's going to roll them in cinnamon sugar. Okay. After the cooked. After the cooked, yes. 
It's so lovely. Oops. And I put it in a cup, in a tall cup, when I feel it's a bit easier to handle. Huh? Well, yeah, that way, because sometimes it two takes hands. two okay. hands. That's it for right now. Okay. There's, we still have some more left in the bowl, but for the purpose of getting done, you want to squeeze your air out. Oh. Okay. Okay. Go and do it, Cheryl. I'm take it to the oven. And I'm just going to make them about, I guess, two inches. I need a knife. That's what I need. Here you go. Just to cut the dough. <laughs> and they'll just get golden brown and then we'll dry them off. Yeah, they're right beside me. And then, like I said, we'll roll them in the cinnamon sugar. And you know what's good too? If you had a nice cup of hot chocolate. Oh. Give them a turn. Easy. I don't want to be burnt. Yeah. Milk is too thin, so why? Oh my god, you guys are making a disaster in my kitchen. I know. And they'll get fluffy and real airy in the center. You need a plate. To and this is something we don't have at the restaurant. At least homemade ones, huh? Yeah. Should I use a Superman plate or a Dora plate? Uh, Not so much either. No, use that white plate right there. Okay, and this is golden brown, about two to three minutes on each side. Because you want the center to cook as well. Do you have a fryer? Do you have like a deep fryer? Big Daddy? House, Big no. Daddy? Um, John Robinson did give me that when I got married, but I've um, heard several times since yeah. then. Thanks, John. Thanks yeah. for giving that to us. It's gone now, it's all gone. And I'm not even using it. Okay, you ready? Whenever ready. at home, home like if I make homemade enchiladas, I go to the restaurant and deep fry my tortillas there and then drive back home. So it's not to get oil all over my house. Oh, but you can come here and make a mess in my kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I don't live Well, here. you wanted to be filming the show here, so. Show off your own Pipe kitchen. Down. Yeah, but everything I make, I don't fry anything. Pipe down, Greyhound. Yeah. So fabulous. Yeah. Look at how fat they are. They almost look like bananas. These would definitely be the Ooh. sisters. Uh, right. Um, yeah, just give me one of those. Yeah. Time. Are they done in the middle? Did you test? I didn't test. We're going to let you test see. that later oh, off those camera. Are so okay, pretty. Where's our other creation, Savannah? Our sopapilla and, our, and our churros. And the Cameron boys were so good. They ate everything yes. on their plate. Come to see us at the El Rancho. Call us about doing your catering. My sister can't cook catering. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.